Drop it. What's up YouTube? Hunter here. Today I'm going to show you how to use 6-axis controller on your Android device. So obviously if you want to learn how to pair your PS3 controller with your actual Android device, just click the tutorial that will be playing right here and come back to this video. So the next thing you want to do is just download the 6-axis controller app and you're going to want to open up the game you want to do. So I'm doing Minecraft obviously so I just take a screenshot of my screen. So I just took a screenshot and now we can open up 6-axis controller. So I'm just going to get it vertical real quick. So we just hit this little key up here, or you can hit the option key alternatively, and you go to preferences. So next thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to touch emulation. Then you go to edit touch profiles. So you double tap for your menu, and we can change background. So we change this to our screenshot, which is the Minecraft one right here. And I'm just going to turn it into landscape mode for y'all, because this is how it's going to be played. And we go to edit background. So in the center there will be a rotate key, so we just rotate it till it looks like it should on our device. So once that's done, we hit the back key, and you'll be greeted like this. So to make this simple, I'm just going to do the uh, arrow keys. Uh, you can obviously do more stuff with it, but so I'm just going to go left, and all you do is just drag it to where you want, and then you double tap on your screen, you go to add button. This is how you do this. So we go to, let's drag a right button. Uh, let's just drag that right, right there. It's kind of hard to do this on camera. Um, up. Let's do that. And let's go down. Okay, so here's a basic profile. Now you can obviously set buttons to do all this stuff and all that, but I'm just gonna show you all the basics. So now we just double tap on the screen once we're got it satisfied, and we just say profile. Now, I, re I made this video and my camera broke, pretty much, so I have to, I'm just going to go over this tutorial one that I did and override it, but there is a new button that you can select and all that. So, once you've saved it, you can just exit it, and we're going to hit the back key again, and we're going to 6-axis six six controller. So, what I'm going to do now is hit start, and I'm going to get my PS3 controller on. So I got my PS3 controller selected and I'm just going to change IME to 6-axis controller. The next thing you want to do is go to Active Touch Profile and you select this for what game you're playing. So I have it on a tutorial version and next we can just go to Minecraft. So here's Minecraft. We don't have to restart it or anything. Well, actually we might have to. Okay, so I can just move around with the arrow keys if y'all can see that here. Just do it that way. But as you can see, I'm moving around completely with the arrow keys and all that. You can assign buttons to do different stuff. So yeah, if you like this video, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. See you on the next video, guys. Bye.